Hi guys, good morning. It is about 8.15. I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee this morning. We haven't been up super long. A couple of the kids are still sleeping, um, but I'm gonna do that and then make the kids some breakfast this morning. Say good morning. Did you find the remote? Huh? Did you find your remote? You did? Okay. All right, so I am gonna grab my creamer. Yeah. And my coffee. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit to my favorite. I don't really care for the sugar-free creamer, so I just make my coffee however I want it. Not a ton of creamer. And then I'm gonna come over here to my sugar-free syrup and put a little bit of that in there. All right, so I'm gonna go enjoy this until the kids start saying they're hungry and ready for breakfast. So that is my coffee this morning. Got breakfast. How's your breakfast? Did good? Well, three of the four kids are eating breakfast. One's still sleeping. She should be waking up any time now. So everybody's got waffles. You're gonna wake her up? We can give her a little bit longer. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I am making some breakfast this morning, so I thought I'd bring you along for my day and share what I'm eating today. I've got a, I wouldn't say a new breakfast, but a little bit of it is new that I'm so excited to try and share with y'all. So hopefully it's good. I think it's gonna be so good. And then um, a lunch that looks really good. I didn't meal prep this week. I had every intention to. I had some chicken that I could have used and then I just decided not to. We just kinda had a busy week. Um, kind of enjoying our last week of summer before the kids start school next week. And so I just have not um, meal prepped this week. So I'm gonna share my lunch that I'm gonna have over the next few days. Hopefully it's good too. And then I'm not really sure what we're having for dinner tonight. So I'll share that and then snacks or whatever we do. So I thought I'd bring y'all along for my day and share that and whatever else. I might want to share today and kind of give y'all an update on um, the WW program for me. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these and kind of updated, like lowered my points and all that. So I figured I'd do that sometime in this video too. Hey. So I've got some bacon in the oven. I am cooking that up. I am going to use that for my breakfast this week. I think my lunch too. I think my lunch calls for that as well. Um, so I'm just going to, I went ahead and cooked up a pack of the Aldi center cut bacon cook that up so once that well I'm gonna start the rest of my breakfast because that shouldn't take too much longer so let's get into the first part I did have coffee this morning um, and I have lowered my points I've got just back to where I'm not worried about counting my coffee okay I'm spilling some water so I kind of got back to where I'm not worried about my counting my coffee anymore since I have lowered my points and just kind of seeing how that works for me so I did have that, and now we're gonna make um, my actual breakfast this morning. Okay, so I cut up some potatoes. Wow. Callan's playing in my spice cabinet. Cut up some potatoes. I'm gonna spray these with some olive oil spray. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. A little bit of paprika. These are my favorite way to make breakfast potatoes. And then onion powder. I'm gonna shake these. And then I cook these in the air fryer on 400 for like 10 to 15 minutes, just whenever they're done. All right, I've got two eggs and I am scrambling up. And these are done. Throw those in there. I think my bacon is done, so I'm gonna take that out. All right, so I'm gonna put two slices of bacon in there. Okay, so the secret ingredient, I am so excited to try this. I saw my friend, Angela, her Instagram. I had to make sure I told you right. The Daily Angela Dawn. She's on Instagram. She is precious. She uh, she's a precious mama. She has four kids. She also does WW. And I saw her post this, and I was like, that just sounds so good. I love like gravy. So I picked up this peppered gravy. I think I've made this before. 
like when I made like biscuits and gravy for my family and I remember it was so good. So we're gonna use this. I've got my eggs, I've got my potatoes and then I'm gonna crumble my bacon up and then I'm gonna make this. Okay, so we are weighing out about nine grams of this gravy mix. Okay, then we've got a fourth of a cup of water. I'm gonna kind of mix this up. This is like a little whisk type thing. It's such a small bowl. Let's see if this will work. All right, we're gonna microwave this for 30 seconds. All right, then I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. It's been 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna microwave it for 20 more seconds. Okay, so I let the gravy sit for a couple minutes to kind of thicken up a little bit. I put that in there. So it, this is a three point breakfast, which is amazing. Um, so eggs are free for me. Potatoes are free for me. I'll have to look back at my zero point foods and see everything that's free, like chicken's free. I can't remember everything that's free for me. Well, off the top of my head. But I've got potatoes, I've got eggs that are free. My bacon is two points and then the gravy is one point. So let's give this a try. This just like gives it, yes ma'am. This just like gives it something extra and it looks so good. Does that have in here? No, I put bacon in there. What? The bacon here? The bacon here? Okay, that is so good. If you like gravy, you would love this. Gravy? Mm-hmm. You got gravy, don't you? What is it? What is it? It's a breakfast bowl with gravy in it. <gasps> don't it look good? Okay, this is so good. <laughs> My new favorite breakfast, probably. I'm so glad she shared this. So before we get into the video anymore, I wanted to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Y'all heard me talk about them several times. I love getting Scentbird if you've not heard of them. It is a fragrance like subscription service. Each month you go online, you can take a quiz. They've got tons of different designer fragrances like hundreds of designer fragrances to choose from and if you're not sure which one to get there's a quiz that you can take online that can help you figure out the right scents for you um but i'm going to share a couple that i got this month and a promo code as well so that will be in the description a link that will take you to the website so each month you can go pick us uh pick a scent so they are $17 a month and it is a 30 day supply. My discount code will get you 55% off your first month. That makes it just about $7 for your first month. So these are what they look like. They come in these little bags. And then this is what the patch packaging looks like. You twist it up and then you spray it. And then it tells you which scent you have. You can pull it out and see. So this one is called Commodity Milk. And then um, you also get these cards to go with it that tells you all about the scent. So this one, it says, Seeking comfort in the familiar, this creamy and calming scent offers the perfect start to the day. Cold milk adds a cooling element to an otherwise rich and warm fragrance of marshmallow, mahogany, and tonka bean. So that is that one. And then the next scent I, scent I got this month is called Deck of Scarlet Maximalist. I always like their scents. I think they're really good. So that's definitely my favorite one that I got this month. So the thought of being low maintenance bores her to tears, but she won't cry. Her mascara is too expensive. Maximalist opens big and bold with a fruity burst of crisp air, green apple, and juicy pineapple. So this is available if you're in the US and Canada. So don't forget to check the links below. Use my code to get 55% off your month. First month at Scentbird, which will make it a little over $7. I've been getting the, them for a long time and there's so many really good ones to choose from. So go take them out. All right, the kids are playing. So I thought we could chat for a second on my points and a little bit of a WW update. Um, so I was getting 41 42 41 points a day so my one-year-old is still breastfeeding um he has cut back some on his breastfeeding so i got 41 points a day exclusively breastfeeding that's a lot more than a typical person i get that um i was very successful with that though even though i got so many points like it just it still paid off like i was still able to lose um, and get down a good bit. But since he kind of did cut back on nursing some, I decided, um, it's in, he's over one now, so I decided to go ahead and cut back on my points. So there's a couple things in the Weight Watchers app. So you can do exclusively breastfeeding, and that's when I got 41 points a day. Or you could also put in, I'm not exclusively breastfeeding, 
and I'm assuming that means like the baby is not only breastfeeding but they're eating now somebody could correct me um so if I did that I think my points got cut back to either 23 or 26 I can't remember that just seemed like a really big jump to me so instead of doing that really big jump, a couple of y'all suggested, why don't you like lower it a little bit and then over time you could cut back down to that. So that's what I did. So I lowered it by 10 points. So right now I'm doing 31 points a day and then eventually I will cut that back down some too. Um, also, it, so I'm getting 31 points a day. So now I have 28 after that breakfast. Also, it's the summertime and here he comes it's the summertime so they had lately like we were sick last week i didn't have much of an appetite i have not been 100 percent on my game um most of the time i am but for instance like hey. things like yesterday hey. hey he's saying hi to y'all like yesterday we i took the kids to do something fun we went to this place that had like games and like a big play area and they had pizza there and popcorn and things. So we went there right before lunchtime and I knew we were gonna stay through lunchtime. So what I did, so I ended up ordering a pizza for everybody and I ate that pizza. I ate two slices of pizza and some popcorn and I think I got Sierra Mist. Sierra Mist. Um, so just like instances, instances like that, we're just enjoying this last little bit of our summer. So for the most part, I feel like I'm on my game, but then like if, I need to be off a little bit then I am just letting myself do that um, so I thought I'd give that update 31 points a day now I have not I don't think I've said that on here let or updated y'all on that I know a lot of y'all have found me through my what I eat in a day WW videos and these are one of my videos that I so many people um, request I know that y'all enjoy um, these videos so that's a little bit of an update so you say hi are you looking outside? Huh? Hi. <laughs> also, update on the breakfast. It was 10 out of 10. I enjoyed that. Um, I, will, I ate a breakfast bowl and I put gravy in it. Like, uh -huh. Lainey does not like gravy. Um, it was so good. Like, it was plenty of gravy, but I felt like I could have had a little bit more too. But it was seriously so good. So, I'm glad. I was, uh, I'm glad I filmed that. All right, the kids are eating lunch, PB&J's. Colin's got some cheese. Slider. And pineapple. Rin's tore hers apart, <laughs> eating it. Rin, Lady, what you got? A slider. A slider. All right, the kids are <laughs> laying down for quiet time. All right, so we are making this for lunch. I saw her post this on, I think on her Instagram a few days ago, and I thought, this looks so good. Um, Cajun Turkey Club Sandwich from Emily Bites. I'll leave the recipe below. I love so many of her recipes. Um, so I've got two pieces of bread toasting. This is all I had. It's two slices for three points. So I've just got white bread, two pieces of center cut bacon. I've got this boar's head oven gold turkey, which is zero points, which is really nice. I've got a tablespoon of light mayo and it calls for Cajun seasoning. I didn't have that. I know this is not the same, but I use seasoning salt. Not the same at all, but anyways, I, it's just what I had. Um, I've got some tomatoes, so I've got two like thinner slices of tomato, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce on there as well. All right, y'all, so we've got our toast. I toasted it up. We're gonna do this mayo that I kind of mixed together. All right, now we're gonna put our turkey going to do a few slices of this turkey. Then we've got our bacon. I'm going to do two slices of this tomato. And then I'm going to also top it with some lettuce. Super easy and very simple. There we go. Well, oh, that looks so good. All right, I'm gonna try this with it. I'm gonna do a serving of these for three or four points. All right, so my sandwich is five points and then I've got four points worth of the Cheez-Its. Um, so a nine point lunch. All right, having a little snack. It's about 2.30. Having some pineapple. Yes, I can help you. Callan is just waking up. Hold on. Callan's just waking up and Delaney just asked if he could, she could go get him. Working on my second water. 
I love this cup. Like, this has replaced, like, all my cups. I love this so much, and I love that when I'm ready to go, I can just stick it in the car, and if it's in the cup holder, these are so hard to find. But, I'm working on my second one. Ideally, I would drink, like, three of these a day. I have not been doing the best with my water lately, but... I'm going to try to get as much as I can in today. So, I just filled this one up just a little while ago. Alright, we've got a little bit of a change in plans. We are headed out for the evening for a little bit. So, we're just going to be probably eating out somewhere. I don't know. We hadn't really talked about it. Um, go back there. <laughs> like, she's got these teeth in they got from... That you won them yesterday. All right, go get back on. Well, Ethan is, he needs some new work boots, and so we decided to come out and go get him some new work boots, which is a little bit of a drive, not too far. Um, so it is already like almost 5:30, so we'll probably eat after that somewhere. I've also got to go to Target, so that's our plan. So we're I'm not cooking or anything. We're just gonna eat out, and I don't know what we're gonna eat yet. So we'll have to figure. Wait. Something out. I don't know. What's it called? It's called Chipotle. Chipotle. What are you going to eat? Um, quesadilla. Quesadilla? And cream. And sour cream? Yep. Alright, this is dinner. Rice and chicken and pintos and a little bit of queso. Lettuce. And the kids. Okay, we are home. I don't know if y'all could see what we ate, but we went to Chipotle. We're going to sit it here for a second. I have never been to Chipotle. I think I've been there one time. Somebody's knocking on my door. I think I've been there one time. It's been a long time ago, and I don't even know what I got. And so, I didn't, didn't really know anything about Chipotle. I've just heard so many people talk about it, and it just sounded good. So, I talked to everybody into going there. So, I really liked it. Um... Ethan said, he was like, if you wanted to go there one night, like, I totally would. Like, it's not my favorite, but, like, I'd go back. I would not bring the kids back. It was spicy, and they did not like that, and they just did not eat good. So, I would go back, but I wouldn't bring the kids back there and get them anything. But, I will say, it was high in points. I actually went in there not knowing how many points anything was. I just decided I'm just going to go ahead and get what I'm getting, and then I'll figure it out later. If I go over a little bit, that's okay. Um, so, I I don't know exactly how many points I got rice which on the app I think it says seven points the chicken says five points I believe and then I did get some queso on top which I think is like six points um and then like pintos are free now theirs may not be I didn't look that up so I it is I did go over points today which is fine it's just one of these things where I know I went over a little bit and that's okay and w whenever you I think Callum's outside my door. He's laughing. Like, whenever that happens, as long as I don't continue spiraling for the rest of the week, or like yesterday when I took the kids out for lunch, and I ended up eating like a salad for dinner. So, I didn't continue to like, I didn't continue eating bad for the rest of the day. It's just one of those things where it's okay if that happens, just get right back on track. So, that's what I'm going to do. I didn't go like way overboard, I don't think, but it was really good. It was delicious. It was spicy. I didn't realize Chipotle was so spicy. Um, but anyways, it was delicious. I added everything up. I'm going to say maybe like 20 points. I may be over that a little bit. Maybe it was actually a little bit under. If you go to Chipotle and like, let me know what you like. That's kind of more WW friendly because I'd love to know because I'd totally go back. Um, but that is going to end my night. We went to Target afterwards. We got a few things. I got the kit. I got some coffee and some creamer. I got a couple things for myself. I had needed a couple bras. And then, um, I'm trying to think. I got the kids some hangers. We need a few more of those. But other than that, say hi. Hi. Is Callan out there playing? Do you have any tail on your face? Mm -hmm. You do. You have any tail on your face. Yes. Right here. It's okay. But I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for my day. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye. Bye. All right. And real quick, don't forget to use my code. It is home W Haley 55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. I just wanted to give that reminder to go check them out. The links will be below.